Hello and welcome to the Oxford Clay Pottery Podcast. I'm Catherine Tomlinson and I founded Oxford Clay, an eco-conscious pottery company. So on this podcast, we're going to be talking about all things pottery related, often with an eco-conscious twist, and I can't wait to share it with you. Let's go. And welcome back to the Oxford Clay Pottery Podcast. I'm Catherine and today I wanted to talk to you about the six different stages of clay. Um, so yeah, clay is incredible and it has completely different properties at each stage. And so um, I wanted just to talk you through like each of the stages like what they're mainly used for and kind of like the special properties of each stage because clay is just amazing and like you know a lot of the fun of like pottery is just kind of like um learning about like what clay can do at each stage you know and what it can't do (laughs) so um okay so let's begin we'll begin at the um the very kind of you know most watery stage of clay and that is slip so Slip is when, you know, you've got lots of water added to clay and it's kind of, it can be runny um, or it can be a kind of, um, you know, sticky um, or it can, you know, it could flow um, like in the, in the um, case of like slip casting and stuff. So basically at this stage, um, you know, colour can be added to slip and um, you know, like stains and metal oxides and it can be used for slip trailing which is when you see um, pottery which has a kind of raised design and that's done with slip trailing which is like a kind of pipette um, full of coloured clay and then it's like squeezed on the pottery and um, and then it's like um, so that's usually at the leather hard stage which is another stage which we'll talk about in a minute um, so yeah slip is also really fantastic for um, joining bits of clay together so um, you might have heard of this kind of score technique where basically if you want to join two bits of clay together you score it you add a bit of slip Um, And then you kind of like um, join the, you know, squish it together and the slip helps the clay to kind of join together. So you usually do that again at the leather hard stage, but you use slip. Um, And then another um, way, like another method of using slip um, is um, slip casting. And that is when a chemical called a deflocculant is added to um, kind of uh, you know sticky wet clay, and um, and it and it turns into this like incredible kind of runny substance that you can then pour into um, a plaster mold. And then you know after a certain amount of time, you know the water gets sucked out after a certain amount of time, say like you know forty five minutes, or you know it can be very short for like a porcelain slip cast thing, it can be like ten minutes. Um, you pour it out again and then you're left with this um, uh, clay piece which has been slip cast. Um, so those are the three ways in which slip is normally used in pottery. And then if we think about the next stage of clay, so that's, um, I'm just going to call this like wet clay. And this is basically, uh, you know, the clay that you would use for like modelling, for like hand building, sculpting, uh, throwing pots on the wheel. Um, That is like the wet clay stage. Um, So it's plastic at this stage, you know, you can do all sorts of things with it. You can roll it out, you can push it into a plaster mould, you can, uh, yeah, like I said, you know, make pots on the wheel. Um, you know build all sorts of things um, and that is uh, wet the wet clay stage Um, okay so following on from that with a little bit more water removed is the leather hard stage of clay and um, I have to say I think leather hard is like my most favorite uh, stage of clay because it's not as kind of easily to, you know, easy to kind of break your pot as it was at the stage before or at the stage after, because the stage after pots are actually very breakable too. So it's a very strong stage. Um, you can you can still do loads to the clay. So if you're say like you've made a pot on the wheel and you want to like turn the base, you know, you do that at the leather hard stage. Um, so yeah, I really love this stage of clay. Like pots are very robust and you can kind of do lots to them. You can 
can attach handles, you can, uh, you know, kind of scratch things, etch things into them. You can again paint them with slip, you know. Um, so yeah, fantastic stage of clay. But when you want to fire clay, so the next, the next stage, you need to actually dry it first. So the next stage of clay is the dry stage. Um, so some people call this like the bone dry stage as well. Um, and it's also known as greenware. So when you hear like, you know, people refer to things as greenware, they might have like a greenware sign up. So like on a shelf or something in a pottery that, you know, you might be going to or something. Um, that is the, um, that is when clay is basically dry and it's ready to get fired. Um, okay. So that brings us on to the, actually, just before we move on, I just want to say to you that things at the greenware stage are extremely brittle. So it can be like, it can be quite a tricky stage because um, say like if you knock something, say you're taking it off a shelf and you knock it, it can actually like break your pot. You can get cracks in your pot appearing. So, you know, it can be quite a tricky stage, the greenware stage. Um, so, okay, so <laughs> now we covered that. Um, the next stage is the bisqueware stage. Okay, so that is when um, clay is fired to um, around kind of 900 degrees um, in the case of stoneware pottery. It's a bit lower in the, in the case of earthenware pottery. And the reason that potters fire their clay um, to uh, bisque fire, fire, bisque temperatures is that it becomes very strong. So the water molecules in the clay actually get released um, and so clay now has become um, it's a different chemical structure so um, it means that it will never now be able to turn back into wet clay so every stage up until this stage clay has been able to like turn back into like wet clay you know if you just add some water you can reclaim it and you can get it back to that original stage but once it's been bisque fired its chemical structure has changed and it's now uh, hard, but it's still porous. So at this stage, um, this is when potters would generally apply a glaze to pottery. And um, bisque fired pottery is fantastic because you dip it in the glaze and because it's very porous, it will absorb all the water and you'll get like a lovely kind of even layer of glaze on your pot. Um, so, um, that's the bisque, that's the bisque stage. And then the next stage is the glaze firing stage. Okay. So, um, so, um, when a pot goes into the glaze firing stage, obviously like, you know, the bottom has to be clean and stuff. So it might have glaze on. And then again, so it's heated to even higher temperatures. So this could be in a, in an example of stoneware, it could be like 1,280, um, uh, you know, in the, in the case of porcelain, it could be 1,390, or um, in the case of earthenware, it could be 1,000. So um, when clay is heated to those temperatures, it, it, becomes, um, it becomes what's known as like sintered, where the clay molecules will actually fuse together and the clay becomes vitrified, where basically it becomes impermeable to water going through it. So, um, so again, its chemical structure is changed again and it becomes impermeable to water and it's known as the, the clay reaches maturity, basically. It's fired to such a high temperature that it's considered mature. And if it's fired beyond that, then it can actually start melting. So that's why, um, so like earthenware clays, say like, for example, like a terracotta that's got quite a lot of iron in it. Um, iron sort of acts as a flux, which means it can kind of like cause, you know, the clay to melt, start melting. So if, if you fire like a terracotta up to like stoneware temperatures, um, it can sort of start to melt. Um, so, uh, yeah, so it's, it's, that's what, that's what the different temperatures of clay, you know, the different types of clay, that's what it means. Basically they fire to like different temperatures in terms of reaching their maturity. Um, okay. So I hope you've enjoyed those, uh, the six different stages of clay. We'll uh, just go through them again briefly. So we've got the, um, slip, which is kind of like runny clay. Basically you can use it for sticking things together. You can use it for slip casting like doing slip trailing it's brilliant um and then you've got like wet clay 
uh, which is kind of like, you know, the, the normal box and the clay that you get, you know, from potters merchants, um, usually comes in bags of 12 and a half kilograms, um, that you get different types of it, but you know, you would, you would mold your, uh, piece, uh, like sculpture or, um, hand built thing, or, you know, pot on the wheel, you'd mold it out of that, uh, clay at that stage. And then the next stage is leather hard. And that's when it's still wet. Um, you know, you know, you'd know it was leather hard because it's still kind of like dark in color. Um, and you can still, you know, do things to it, like scratch things into it. It's still soft enough to, um, to have, you know, uh, things cut into it, but it's not so soft that it will kind of like squish and lose its shape like the stage before. The next stage is dry clay, uh, also known as greenware. Uh, and clay is extremely brittle at this stage. So just like, you know, be careful you don't like knock your pot, which I've done like a thousand times and like break it. Um, and you know, that's the stage when they're all like loaded into the kiln. Um, and then they're bisque fired, that's the next stage. And uh, clay, bisque fire clay is very porous, but it's very hard. So, you know, it can be glazed without it disintegrating. It's changed its chemical structure. It's not gonna go back to like, you know, disintegrating into like, um, you know, clay, like all the other stages before. Um, and then the final stage is the glaze firing stage. And this is when clays reach maturity, it's been fired to a high enough temperature as to become impermeable to water. Yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed that episode. Um, I've really enjoyed like talking to you about the different stages of clay. You know, I love clay. I love like all the different stages and how it like, you know, it's different at each one. It's, it's such an incredible substance and you know, how it can be, you know, really brittle at one stage and really strong at another stage and kind of flow at one stage and be like totally, you know, solid at another stage. It's, it's just incredible. So um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing you on the next episode and until then, very happy potting. <laughs>